by the way. I just want to talk about some aesthetics. James Harden definitely had a pregame meal, averaging 17 points per game over the last four, by the way. I just want to talk about some aesthetics. James Harden definitely had a pregame meal, averaging 17 points per game over the last four. Serious? What's good, soup? Today I'm back to the video. Today I'm going to be talking about James Harden and his huge body transformation. Of course, you guys have been telling me to do a video on this, so you know I said why not. Obviously, James Harden has been you know in all the media because of his weight lately. He looks like he's gained a lot of weight when he was with the Houston Rockets this past you know couple of games. But now that he you know he's starting to play you know with the Brooklyn Nets and he played for them yesterday, he looks like you know he looks like he's skinny and that he magically lost 50 pounds of weight or whatever. So today I'm going to be talking about the truth about what really happened with James Harden's weight, and we're gonna be talking about this huge saga, man. So let's get straight to the video. As you guys know, James Harden has always, you know, been a good basketball player, of course. An MVP, averaged 30 points per game for his past couple of years. But, of course, James Harden lately has been mostly known because of his weight. Because he's apparently looking fat in Rockets games before playing with them this season. But, yeah, man, all of this saga actually started back in the quarantine, man. Before the NBA bubble started, of course, the NBA had to suspend its season because of the COVID. And in that period of six months, a picture of James Harden surfaced around the internet of him you know working out and looking like he lost like good 20 to 30 pounds of weight and you know that he was ready to, you know to work out for the houston rockets and try to win a championship you know now that you have russell westbrook and a good supporting cast and james harden was looking motivated man but of course the houston rockets fell off and they did lose to the and uh, los angeles lakers in the second round and after that second round james harden was contemplating his future with the houston rockets of course they fired mike d'antoni daryl morey left the organization and you know they were losing pieces like like Austin Rivers and Jeff Green and pieces like that that were good pieces for the bench but yeah man after that all that happened James Harden like he said in the pregame interview he was frustrated with the organization and he eventually a couple of months later he eventually uh, requested a trade and demanded you know that he did all that he could do for the Houston Rockets and that he wanted to move on from them and you know start with a new team go with a new future and uh, with another team however after James Harden requested a trade it took a lot of time for him to get traded so after all that happened of course he started going to parties and partying with little baby and you know going to strip clubs and all that and, and just not being committed to the Houston Rockets and that's how he started to manage the situation when he was going to parties when he was missing practices and just expressing his frustration and even James Harden in the press conference with the Brooklyn Nets he even said that he wished that he could handle this situation better and just not make it worse man but yeah man all that happened the crazy thing about all this you know partying situation is that when James Harden was asked about this he was saying he was denying all the allegations and that he was just training with his quote-unquote personal trainers which, which was all cap man we went to Atlanta and Vegas when training camp was starting. I was just training. What were you training for? Uh, it started the NBA season. How did going to Atlanta and Vegas help you there when the Rockets were starting training camp in Houston? Uh, just seeing you know, my personal trainers. And then the NBA preseason started. And that's when the wave fat pictures of James Harden appear on the internet, of course. The first one, the legendary James Harden picture that blew up on social media, appeared in the first Houston Rockets preseason game against the San Antonio Spurs. Of course, this was the first game of James Harden being back after, you know, quarantining, being in parties and all that. And this picture surfaced of him, you know, at least gaining like 50 pounds of weight and that he ate six burgers all day and was sitting in his bed and, you know, just not working out in general. And of course, everyone was, you know, was shocked by you know how James Harden was handling this situation and obviously after that he, he he wasn't looking the best on the court either he was you know he wasn't motivated man all this continued kept looking fat on purpose and obviously the last the major picture of James Harden being fat appeared in his last game as a Houston Rocket when he played against the Los Angeles Lakers and obviously this picture blew up once again because James Harden looked like he gained even more weight again and that you know he, he he wasn't working out and that he wasn't being committed in general to basketball and that he actually you know like rather preferred like partying in general than just winning a basketball game but what if I tell you that all of this is planned and staged at the end of the day because James Harden he wasn't fat man James Harden has never been fat he has had his weight and all that but, but James Harden was actually wearing fat suits under his pregame jersey because 
when you see the Brooklyn Nets game, when you see James Harden working out before the game last night against the Orlando Magic, you see that James Harden is skinny, man. And James Harden has always been skinny, man. Even when you see the Houston Rockets, you know, practice workouts with James Harden, he looks skinny, man. He's always been skinny. It's that he wore fat suits under his jersey on purpose for the Houston Rockets to trade him. And it was actually insane how he handled the situation. And after all this Houston Rockets saga with the fat suits and all that happened, he was traded to the team that he wished for, which was the Brooklyn Nets. And of course, he's teaming up with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. And he had his debut last night against the Orlando Magic. And he looked pretty good, man. This team has a lot of potential. Can't wait to see how Kyrie Irving does with this team as well when he comes back. And I think it's going to be the, uh, the Nets versus Lakers in the finals. Can't wait to see that. But yeah, man, James Harden, at the end of the day, he wasn't fat. He's obviously had his pounds and all that, like I said. But he wasn't as fat as he was making it seem like because he just wanted to get out of Houston. He was wearing fat suits on purpose. And yeah, man, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think James Harden was actually wearing fat suits or is he actually that fat? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for new, and click the bell to get notified of my official videos. I'm going to say great day. Peace out.